Previously on Sailing and Fun, the captain and I took our pups to one of the beautiful and expansive beaches of North Carolina. If you're traveling that way, take some time to hang out on Atlantic Beach, where because of the way the island is oriented, you can see both the sunrise and sunset. How beautiful. The way the light's in the water. Oh my goodness. We had a great time body surfing and playing around in the water, although we did come a little too close to some of the natives. Oh, wow, do you see those fish? I'm talking to myself. Oh, I'm talking to the camera, I'm talking to y'all. Did y'all see that, those fish? I'm a little worried what the hell's chasing them for him to flop out the water like that. Oh, just saw a shark. Scaring myself. It is true that sharks like to feed at dusk. And since we saw a couple of them, we thought it best to hang back and play on the sand. Thanks to all our Vimeo viewers who are helping to support our channel and you too can get in on that fun where we have extended videos with deleted scenes and some uncensored footage and much love to our patrons who are helping to keep our refitting dreams alive. Large granite boulders are used here to prevent erosion and of course we look at it as another photo opportunity. But the truth is, it's more fun just to ditch the sexy look, get wet, roll around, and have fun like a kid. That's a scratch. They got me. They're getting bigger. All right, come Whoa. on in. We are entering Fort Macon. If you're in the Beaufort area, you might consider stopping by Fort Macon. It's free to get in, but they do ask for donations. Ooh, look at all that money. They have an indoor theater, which is nice to get away from some of the North Carolina heat. And they also have museum quality exhibits with info about the fort and also the beaches and area around it. And I thought sleeping on the boat was tight. Top of the dolphin. A dolphin? Mm -hmm. Another whale bone. Gosh, this is beautiful. Thoughts of designs for forts like this started in the mid-1700s to defend against Spanish and English invaders. This fort's construction was started in 1926 and was garrisoned during the Civil War and World War II. Northern troops fired on Fort Macon. It was held by the Confederacy. It was hit over 560 times, so if you go up, you'll still see in some of the the area that there are chunks taken out. Oh, okay, great. I mean, not great, but... It's easy to do a self-guided tour as they have these buttons with narration about the different rooms. Throughout much of Fort Macon's history, this room has been used as a commissary. Oh, commissary, here we go. In this room, the supplies of food... Oh, was it used during World War II? There were German subs yeah. off the coast of North Carolina. German subs, wow. German subs. As a matter of fact, we even have one that was sunk, and uh, you can still go out and dive it. Dive it. Oh, yeah. I awesome. Forget the number. But I bet people would not. You wouldn't have likened that to this fort or thing. You know, I certainly wouldn't. Wow, I that grew is. I was in um, uh, New York, and there were German subs that would come into New York Harbor. Wow. Yeah. yeah so. Y'all are open all year round, right? Oh, not good. Look at this is cool. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Oh, wow. 
Stand, stand up here. Come up here. Stand on this thing, probably. I'd say probably none of them should stand here. You're, you're, I'm sure you're allowed to stand here. Well, it doesn't say don't stand here, so. I see our marina. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. Is there a mask? No, but I see, uh, oh, you know what mask that is? 70 footer? Yes, that's who that is. So our marina's right over there. Look at all these boats shooting in. Wow, it's like they're having a race. Everyone around here is like, how fast can we go? Obviously, these kind of forts are located on the coast to defend against cannon fire from ships, but this Fort Macon location is beautiful. The beach has white sparkling sand. It's expansive, has great water, surfable waves, but a swimming area as well. And it's great to soak up a little history and then put your toes in the sand. We have a lot more beach action and sandbar fun later in the video, but the fort is definitely worth taking a second look. Wow, that is super cool. I'm gonna sit on one. Let's go sit on this big one down here. Big gun. This is the mess, mess hall, kind of. What does it say it is? The kitchen and mess, mess room. I like seeing pictures like this. The facial hair is back in style, babe. Oh, you shaved yours recently, though. Yours is only a couple days old. You look like you could have been a good war hero. Thanks. You're gonna have to walk through the mud or I'm gonna get to see things you don't get to see. Wow, this is really spectacular. Some hard working folks. Wow, look at this. Let's see what's down the creepy tunnel. There wasn't a lot to see down there, but all this construction from a couple hundred years ago makes me think that we should be doing a much better job on the catamaran refitting. Yeah, this could be like moated. It could be a moat, huh? Doors are very castle-like. Come here, soldier. Oh, it was a military prison. I knew it was a prison. All this horrible stuff happened here, and um, all I can think about is, ooh, a wedding would be really pretty there. And <laughs> Turns out a lot of other people are thinking the same thing. I was just bitten again. The war against the mosquitoes? Oh, the war against the mosquitoes. Yeah, it's definitely in effect. I'm losing the battle, though. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we definitely have to come back, right? And we did make a second trip. It's definitely worth it. And only a couple hundred feet from the fort is the beautiful beach. Wow. 
said we were out there just playing on the beach and trying to figure out how we were going to get past some of these waves. And a surfer walked by and offered up his board. He said he thought he'd make some good pictures for us. So we took him up on his offer. Obviously, surfing does body good. And although, ever since getting the boat, my captain spends more time behind the helm, he is great at all water sports and looks great doing them. You do something. Take off your shirt. Like for real. I would like that. did this because the captain is obsessed with those mud flap looks. He is always trying to get me in the shadow and getting me to do that uh, back arching kind of thing. So this was kind of fun to play with the reflection on the beach. It's like a mirror. Well, another video spent having fun well into the night. We love the lights that some of the other boats have, so the captain got us a blue stern light, and we look forward to showing you guys very soon what it looks like in the clear water of the Keys. Hope to see you next time.